Welcome back to the memes. That's Festive Frank. I'm not the expert, and today we're exploring the extremely strange Jerry Rice and 90s's dog football. Originally, I was just going to do a normal gameplay for this video, but the more I found out about this game, the more I just really started to question reality and how this game even came to exist in the first place. Hello, this is Jerry Rice and my dog Leonidas. We're here to talk about our video game, Jerry Rice and Nidus dog football. Jerry Rice and Nidus' dog football was released in 2011 for the Wii and PC, but there seems to be a lot of weird games released on the Wii, and this is no exception. When you go to the Steam Store page, you immediately notice, well, that the game looks absolutely horrendous. But on the bright side, it's got a lot of good boys, so it's pretty cute. This game was made by a company called Judo Baby. They claim that IGN gave them the exact same rating as Madden 11 when this game was released, which was a 7 out of 10, but the video review I found from IGN gave Madden 11 an 8 out of 10. So I don't know who's lying here, maybe they're just kind of making this crap up. Either way, I'll let you be the judge to decide which one is better. The hilarious part about this family-friendly dog football game made for children is that the game is tagged under sports, psychological horror, and sexual content. So obviously at this point, I'm like, what the heck is even happening here? And how do I find out more? But thankfully, they've got some interviews embedded right here on the Steam page. And boy, these are a doozy. to show us this brand new game. It's called Jerry Rice and Nidus' Dog Football. Basically, it's a football game played by a team full of dogs with a human quarterback because, you know, dogs can't pass yet. Let me get this straight. So we got dogs running around insane landscapes playing semi-organized football, but we can't give them the ability to pass because that's just too unrealistic. We have Jerry Rice. He's a quarterback in the game. He's, um... The, the commissioner of the Pet Sports League, which is the league that runs the uh, Dog Football League. That's not the same as Michael Vick's league. Holy crap, the reporter just went at his neck. He made the dev rethink his entire career with just a few words. Right? It's no, not the same league no, that Michael Vick wrote. It's, no, no. it's not even close. We get that now and again. We get the right. Michael Vick comments. But You guys didn't think about ever putting him in the game as like a villain. Bro, the dev is furious right now. You can tell he's trying to keep it chill, but look at his eyes. This man wants to fight on sight right now. Not at all. Not at all. Michael Vick does not fall into what we do here at Judo Baby. We're about fun, family entertainment. The play Gameplay is really simple. Hold the button, pull it back to hike, watch the dogs when the dog I like barks, throw and release. Once my dog has the ball, see the blue bone? My dog will follow the bone and go wherever I want him to. Up the palm tree, let's, get, let's make a big touchdown right now. Onto the rock, along the Tahiti huts, all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. That's how you do it. It's sort of a mix between uh, a football game, a traditional football game, where you have to throw different plays and, and run different uh, uh, setups. Clearly, this man is blown away by the masterful gameplay he just watched. Most football fields are flat, and they just have a gridiron. Our football fields are played in skate parks. We play them on snow levels. We play them in Paris. We play them in Hawaii. We play them in Tahiti. Our levels are loaded with animals. We have penguins, cows, turtles, raccoons. You name it. We even have crabs in the game. Never in my life have I seen a man so proud to have crabs. Well, oftentimes, people will be playing it, and they're fooled for the first couple of plays. They think they're playing something like, I don't know, a kart racing game, when actually we're fooling them into playing a little football. Uh, the, the jocks all have Madden, right? And they're all into their Madden, their NCAA, 2000 whatevers, and this and that. And I was like, well, I want a football game for me. And you guys know that my wife runs a dog training facility there in Los Angeles. Ah. So we're big dog people. Forget all that other noise that's coming out of the bigger, like, publishers out there you guys know who you are there it is the biggest madden roast of all time is that a young ryan moody right there you guys over here at judo baby have been nice enough to make a game for people like me yep. and i'm not saying i'm a wuss i'm just saying i want to do something a little more more fun and colorful I feel like that's for a conversation between you and your wife i think we found our perfect football game sorry jocks your time has come and gone the monopoly is over sorry ea sorry activision sorry big dogs we got the new dogs the fresh dogs the dogs that are fun that's who's coming at you right here we got jerry rice on our side we got nidus on our side we're coming right at you so look out all right safe to say with geekscape stamp of approval dog football is the greatest game ever made now if that didn't bring some smiles and tail wagging then let me show you a few tricks in the game that can only come from pros like Nidus and me. So if you thought that interview wasn't amazing enough, wait until you see this one. This might be the greatest thing to ever happen to humanity. Today, about his new video game, Jerry Rice and Nidus's Dog Football. So can you tell us a little bit about the game first? Well, you know, Jerry Rice and Nidus Football is about my dog and, and myself. And the thing is, you know, we wanted to, uh, along with Judo Baby, we wanted to uh, this is to really be a family game. 
And, uh, you know, there are so many games out there, uh, a lot of violent games. And, uh, you know, we wanted to target uh, the older kids, but also the younger kids. And you got dogs playing football. It's so <laughs> exciting. Uh, and I think it's a great concept. The graphics are good. And you can go to uh, GameStop, you know, to, uh, you know, pick the game up. So it's a fun game. You should try it out. Mm -hmm. There's like, you know, 20 breeds of dogs and you can, you know, choose uh, your team. And, uh, and like I said, it's a, it's a very fun game. And the graphics, that's, you know, that's really what this is all about. Nidus is, uh, he's a rock wilder and uh, he's gonna turn four in October and, and just, uh, you know, my best friend. Mm -hmm. The graphics, that's, you know, that's really what this is all about. How did you come up with the concept of this game? I really wanted to target a uh, family and uh, the majority of the games are tailored for, uh, you know, for men and also boys. Mm -hmm. And with this game here, uh, you know, females, they can actually play also. Allowing females to play video games. How progressive of you, Jerry. So we know the media loves dog football, but let's not take their word for it. Let's hear some testimonials from the people that'll actually be playing the game. That was pretty fun. I thought it was super fun. It's perfect for families. It's like NFL blitz, but better. Yeah, they had to pay that kid like $20 to say that. There's no way he legitimately thinks dog football is better than Blitz. Also, how are the two even related? One is about dogs playing football, and the other one is about NFL players beating the crap out of each other. Let's hear what some of our current Judo Baby investors have to say. Jeff, what do you like most about Judo Baby and uh, dog football? Uh, I was really impressed with the Judo Baby company. Uh, me and Dan, at first, he just has this incredible vision and the team that he's put together. I've met the team quite a few times. It looks like they found all these kids like straight out of high school. Like they didn't even get a college education. They're just, you use computers, right? Uh, there you go, make a game. And it's just a collective group of people who share the same vision and it doesn't matter what age you are. <laughs> oh my God. It's so obvious they don't want to be seen on camera. They probably don't even want to be connected to this game in any form. Like, don't they look like that one meme where the dude's like, oh God, please don't notice me. And it's not your, your typical blow them up, uh, shoot them up games that I think here to uh, a different demographic. Blow em up game? What even is a blow em up game? It sounds like what I do to my toilet after eating tacos. I know that with Dan at the head of it, with his zeal and his excitement about it, can't fail. I agree, I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely, I agree too. Right on. <laughs> right on. I have so many questions. One, why are they having this meeting in the closet of a men's warehouse Two, why is that guy being sucked into his own neck and how does this man ever recover from being denied this handshake like that right on <laughs> this is pure comedy i just can't even take it the media loves them the graphics the fans love them like NFL wins, right? but the team was hard working and passionate now let's see what the reviews actually have to say Starting with Geekscape, I think we found our perfect football game. Sorry, EA. Or this one from Man Whom Posts. Dear Lord. Or this glowing review from Captain Deadman. Before I played this, I didn't like football, but I love dogs. Now I hate both. This crappy port of a terrible Wii game makes me want to run over every dog I see in my car for the good of humanity. 2 out of 10. So there might be some haters out there, but there's a lot that love this game as well. Play as dog. 10 out of 10. Well, it's hard to argue with that. Grab this game as quick as you can. We'll be looking for you. With the glowing success of dog football, Judo Baby decided to go on their next endeavor. Kickstarting a game, Marshawn Lynch, Dino Dogs VR. Marshawn Lynch, Dino Dog. A Jurassic style, genetic blending, dinosaurs and dogs, playing America's favorite sport, and starring Marshawn Lynch famed running back of the Oakland Raiders, along with his dog, Ice. Yeah, so that is pure nightmare fuel. They had to be on all the drugs when making this idea. Walt Disney said it takes three things to make a successful picture. And I know it's in your game, Dan, because that's how I jumped in with you. Personality, personality, personality. Judo, baby. But enough about everyone else's opinion about the game. It's now time for me to experience it myself. So I played it, and I gotta say, Oh my god. When I booted up the game, I expected a blow em up, shoot em up game, but boy was I surprised. 
There was cute doggos everywhere playing something that kind of sort of resembles football. Not really, but who cares? They were cute, and the graphics really kept me in it. This game was originally made for the Wii. I bought it for the PC, but I can already tell they made absolutely no changes in the port from the Wii to PC. The terrible motion controls are extremely unresponsive and awkward for mouse and keyboard. The characters are terrifying, like this clown that will be sure to haunt every child's dreams for many years to come after playing this. Honestly, this game gave me more questions than answers. Judo Baby and Jerry Rice have created a fever dream of a game. A fever dream that is full of memes that will live on forever. I'm glad this game exists. I'll say one thing. It'll be hard to forget Jerry Rice and Nidus' dog football, and that's gotta be worth something. Good boy, Nidus. <laughs>yard dash just becomes way easier and using their blue color pack i was able to easily switch around and basically make an entire new controller that's customized because i really like the blue these are really great controllers i really love them the response time is amazing basically zero latency if you're doing a ton of gaming especially like pc or xbox this would be a great controller pickup a small little detail that i even appreciate is when you click the buttons it sounds like you're clicking a mouse or something let me if you're doing like those button mashing modes and say like blitz the league it makes it way easier. Smack that X button. Pick up the eSwap X Pro controller from Best Buy today. Thanks again to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video. So that was definitely a different style of video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I felt like this game just needed a unique style to it. I mean, I, I feel like just playing this game doesn't really give the full story on it. If you'd like me to explore more meme games like this, make sure to like this video. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It's completely free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like me. But as for me and Frank, I just want to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.